Namaste everyone and welcome Today I want to share a little bit about what's going on in the weekend and I will also like to invite you to a pranic healing with me tonight 9 o'clock European Standard Time uh, So tomorrow I will be live in a group called Harmony Shalom where I will be talking about karma I will be talking about karma the karmas that we have the karmas that the planet have what the karma comes from and how we can understand more depth about karma there will be 9 in the morning European Standard Time tomorrow in Harmony Shalang. Just let me know if you want to have access to the group and I will invite you and I will do that talk in Swedish. And on Sunday I will have a mantra, a mantra healing event at the same time, 9 in the morning European standard time where I will talk about mantras what the mantra can do for you on a, on a daily basis how you can apply mantras in your life what mantra is and I will um, end it with a meditation together with healing and mantras so you have two great events to look forward to one about karma and one about mantra and and the healing. So I had another question or a student of mine, Katarina, uh, wanted to know more about how we can raise our energy levels. Because that is something that we, we need to know. How do I raise my level of energy? both in the mind, in the physical body, in the emotions, right? How can you raise your vibration of energy and never lose energy? That is something we need to know and work on. So first of all, we have to know our limits, right? When we know our limits, we know where our level is let's say you are a person who spend a lot of time at work in front of the computer and after two hours you're tired you're gone you're out mm -hmm. then you only had a capacity of working on the computer for two hours that's your energy level right let's say you have Uh, an energy level of problems when you are in stores you are around people because that is a question I get a lot of uh, a lot of times is how can I don't be drained by other people or if I go into this mall or this shop I feel so tired when I when I come out that is because your energy level is very 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 low so as soon as you enter and there's a lot of surroundings of energy you snap up different energies when you snap up that energy you don't know what to do with it so the energy takes over takes over your mind takes over your emotions because you may be sensitive to and when you are sensitive you can sense other people's energy what they are thinking what they are feeling so the most important thing for you to do is to do a daily practice daily spiritual practice of both yoga asanas as physical exercises in a way which raises your energy level mantras give you a lot of spiritual energy and meditation gives you clarity of mind 
Meditation is like you're taking, you, you, you're putting on a pause, a pause button, and you go into meditation. And when you're into meditation, you work beyond. And the more you, you progress in your meditation, the more beyond the mind you go, the more beyond the, the limitations you go, the more beyond the emotions you go, the more beyond you go of all the ideas you have ego, the lust, the pride, the jealousy, the anger, the fear, all those greed and things that are on the outside, you, you leave them for a while when you go into a meditation. So by doing daily meditation, you will practice in the morning, you will practice before you go to sleep, because if the first thing you do in the morning is meditation, and the last thing you do before you go to sleep is meditation. You learn how to clean up the mind because during the day you go through a lot of things. You experience things with the mind. You experience things in your emotional state. And that energy comes to you. And if you don't do meditation, it will just be stored there. But as you do meditation, it comes up and you start to work with it. And it starts to progress within you. And you start to like... Slowly, 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 slowly... Things erase, erases from your system. So by doing morning practice of meditation, evening practice of meditation will be of great benefit to you. If you add mantras, if you add physical exercises, you can easily raise your level of vibration. But it's not just of the regular thing of, hey, I need to have a five-dimensional vibration of energy. It's not like that. This is about to become unlimited. How can you have unlimited amount of energy from morning to next morning every single day? Then you need to learn how to raise the level of energy to handle the level of energy that you are perceiving in life. Maybe you have a few children maybe you have a job maybe you have responsibilities a lot of things to do you need to have the right energy level to handle all the daily tasks in life and you do that by practicing yoga every single day you can practice much large you can practice any sport but there are some exercises asanas that are a very very great benefit so everything is like electricity your body is like electricity electricity in your body you have 72,000 energy points you have seven chakras five in the lower part of the body and two in the brain you have your spine the spine in the back has 10,000 energy points those 10,000 energy points needs to be active. And you just activate them by doing this stretch. So by doing this stretch, you're activating the spine. Because you want to have a healthy spine. Why do we want to have a healthy spine? Because when you learn how to breathe properly, Breath is life, breath is God. God is breathing through you every single moment. There is a breath passing in and passing out. 
during the day you have 23,000 breaths how many of those breaths are you aware of? those breaths are also filled with prana pranic energy but if you don't know how to breathe properly you breathe from air huh? it's not healthy you need to breathe from the lower part of the body around the navel area we need to learn how to breathe from there and we need to learn how to breathe through the spine as we breathe through the spine dharana, dhyana and samadhi expansion of consciousness will happen as we breathe out through the spine prana as we breathe down, it's called apana. Then we breathe out negative, past, evil karma. So in your spine, you also have your karma encoded into your DNA. So by learning how to raise the voltage, the electricity in your body, you will be able to move more energy in the spine which will move you deeper into concentration into deeper meditation and it will help you to remove more karma in your system so this is what i want to help you with tonight this is what the healing is about it's called a pranic healing event so i will transmit energy to you for 30 minutes and you will by donation send me whatever you like for this exchange of energy so I will move healing pranic energy into your body so I want you to lay down on the back and I want you to have focus and concentration on the breath on the breathing for as long as you can and all attention on the navel center because we need to learn how to store more pranic energy in the navel so then the prana can move in the spine move into the nervous system and circulate all through the body so the energy is the healing is programmed to move into your navel, into your spine and to raise the voltage of electricity of prana in your body. So this I will do for 30 minutes and if you are interested in joining me, send a donation to my, to my number please contact me to to get the number and I will transmit energy to you for 30 minutes and this will help you with the pranic the prana uh, that I'm talking about so you can have a higher vibration in your body so you can experience that and from that on you can learn how to carry that energy so that energy can be there forever so you don't have to be low you don't have to be tired you don't have to be exhausted, depressed, emotional, angry. All these things are coming from us not having enough mental or emotional energy. So we are moved by emotions. We are moved by the mental things that happens to us. But if we can learn how to build up the energy, to build up a strong foundation of a limited voltage in our system, we can handle whatever comes to us in life. So feel free to join, comment yes in the comment if you want to receive healing and I will gladly do the transmission for you. Contact me if there are any questions and I hope you find some inspirations to your life during this talk and if you want to you can join tomorrow at 9 in the morning European time. European Standard Time, I will be live in Harmony Shellam and I will talk more about karma, which I men mentioned a little bit now. 
and on Sunday I will do the mantra and the healing on my site so you used to sign up uh, that you are coming uh, to the event on my page and I will go live on Sunday so that will also be 9 in the morning European standard time so thank you for watching I hope you can find value in this to carry on in life and feel free to join me in the healing and just contact me and comment yes in the comment and I will set you up for the transmission okay Om Namah Shivaya Namaste thank you